Hello and welcome to Vancouver Carpenter. Today I'm going to finally teach you guys how to coat screws. They're pretty simple really and the main thing you need to know is that you put the mud on in one direction and wipe it off in the other direction. So if you're just doing one screw it's like that and like that. Now I'm going to bring you guys closer so I can show you why we need to do that and then we'll get into form. All right, first off, let's take a look at my knife. So I've just got a little bit of mud on my knife like so. And let's take a look at this screw. So let's say I put the mud on in that direction and then I wipe it off in the same direction. So can you see that little X? So a lot of the time, what that means is that you actually have a bubble under there. So what you need to do is you need to put it on in that direction, wipe it off in that direction, and then it's better. So actually, I don't think I had a bubble in either of them, but let's try again. So splarp it on, take it off. So I'm pretty sure there's a bubble in that one. So let's do it again. That one, you can see the X, but I'm sure there's no bubble in there. Okay, so why this really matters is you don't want a bubble in that screw because what's gonna happen is you're gonna sand it out, paint your wall, and then you're gonna see a tiny little pinhole where that bubble was. So in order to get rid of that, it's just putting it on in one direction, taking it off in the other, and that seems to solve it every time. Next, let's get into speed. So you could do it this way, one at a time. I often do, but you might wanna use a smaller knife if you're gonna do it that way. So I have a six inch right here, if you want to do them one at a time, use a four inch. You're going to be putting less mud on the wall and it's just going to go faster. However, if you want to do it with a little bit of speed, again, so I'm taking a little bit of mud out of here, you know, about that much. And what you can do is you can do the whole row. So you can go right from the bottom and you can wipe them all down. Well, of course I missed one because I'm showing you guys. get these ones down here so also what we need to get into is how much am I putting on and how much am I taking off so it's just a thin enough layer to cover them all and then I'm changing the angle of my knife so when I put it on my knife is really flat like so and then when I take it off it's like at least a 45 degree if not more so it's quite steep and that way it takes all of the mud off. Because what you don't want to be doing is lumping it on here and then having a bunch to sand after. That's a pain. There's a lot of screws in a typical drywall job. And if you're having to push your sander across it more than once or twice, that is a real pain in the neck. Trust me. So again, I'm out of practice, you guys. I'm making more videos than I am uh, doing this job these days. All right, let's see if I can do a little better this time, huh? Almost made it up to the top. But that's a long stretch right there. Usually there's only like two or three screws in the middle of a sheet, so it's more like a lot faster. Anyways, that's how you coat a screw. And screws need a minimum of two coats. So right now I'm using all-purpose mud. That's another thing that's really important to note. You want to use an all-purpose or a taping, or if you're gonna use a quick set, maybe if it's a brand that doesn't have good adhesion, you might wanna add a bit of glue. But I like to use, you know, ideally just taping or all-purpose to coat my screws. Second coat can be with a finished mud because you've already bonded to the screw head really well. But that's it, just lay it on, take it all off really thin, Ideally, you should do it two more times to guarantee that all of your screws are flush. You can also use thicker mud when doing this. Don't use runny mud because it shrinks more and that way you'll for sure have to do three coats. But standard practice is three coats for most people. Let me know in the comments what you do. How many coats does it take you to fill screws? 
All right, second coat. It's just the same thing, basically. Coat it again. Let's see if I can redeem myself a little on these by not doing so many. Definitely can't do it as smooth as somebody who tapes all day, every day. And I always leave little blobs. Which is why this is my preferred method. Whatever gets it done though. So these do need one more coat. I'm gonna bring you guys up close. Hopefully you can actually see it in this light. There it is. You guys can see that. See that little bit in there? That means it's empty. So yep, one more coat. I don't like that method. So these are now officially fully coated. So we'll come back and sand them on the next day. If you coated your screws lightly, the sanding should be a breeze. Like it should not take long. Done. That's it. So that's how I do screws. I hope you got something out of this video. I hope your screws are going well. No more of those little mountains and molehills. Anyways, thanks for watching Vancouver Carpenter. Hope you found this video useful and until the next one. Thanks for watching.